hello everyone in this video we will discuss about the questions of straight lines all right so only two question came this uh, in this february attempt okay so let's discuss them one by one so the first question which came in your 24th february examination shift one is if automatic mean of reciprocals of intercept of line y equal to mx plus c on axis is one by four then this line will pass through the point all right so what is given to us arithmetic mean of reciprocal of intercept so if this is the line y equals to mx plus c so we can say this particular intercept that will be the x intercept so for x intercept y will be equals to 0 so we are getting this as equals to minus c upon m comma 0 and this y intercept will be so for this x will be equals to 0 so we are simply getting this equals to 0 comma c all right so now if you take arithmetic mean of reciprocals of intercept all right so if the intercept is c over here its reciprocal will be 1 by c okay and if it is minus c upon m over here its reciprocal will be minus m upon c so their arithmetic will be mean will be 1 upon c minus m upon c by 2 all right arithmetic mean of reciprocal of intercept this is equals to 1 by 4 so if you solve it, we are getting 1 minus m upon c equals to this 2 to the 4. This will cancel. So it is coming equals to 1 by 2. And from here, we are getting 2 into 1 minus m is equals to c. All right. Now, if you put this value of c in your equation of straight line, that is y equals to mx plus 2 into 1 minus m. So we are getting y equals to mx plus 2 minus 2m. And if you take this 2 on the right, left hand side, that will become y minus 2 equals to m into x minus 2. So now can you see this particular, this is nothing but a family of lines, right? For different different values of m, you will get different different families of line. But this will always pass through a fixed point. That is 2 comma 2. See, right? 2 comma 2 ke liye hamesha 0 equals to 0. Aega. That means this line is always passing through the fixed points. 2 comma 2 all right and this is nothing but a family of line so here the correct answer will be option number b so whenever you get this kind of uh, statement in the question na, then this line will pass through always pass through this particular point so that particular you can question is based on the concept of family of lines all right so we can say this line will always pass through fixed point that is 2 comma 2 okay so let's see the next question the next question is a triangle formed using three lines x plus 2y equal to 3 x equal to y and 2x plus y equals to 6 all right so we have three straight lines all right and they are intersecting to make a triangle so let's suppose this is y equals to x this is x plus 2y equal to 3 and this is 2x plus y equals to 6 so here you have to find out that uh, the type of the triangle that basically it will be equilateral isosceles or right angle triangle so what we can do over here is if you have three equation of three straight line can we find the vertices of triangle yes very easily you can simply solve two lines find their intersection point so if you find this point let's suppose this is c so its coordinate will be solve these two lines y equals to x and x plus 2y equals to 3 so we'll say for c x equals to y and x plus 2y equals to 3 so putting x equals to y we are getting 3y equal to 3 so y is 1 and if y is 1 x will be also 1 because it's lying on y plus 2 x line. So coordinate of this point are 1 comma 1 let's suppose this is a so here again you, if you put y equal to x we are getting 3x equals to 6 so x coordinate will be 2 and if x is 2 y will be also 2 and for finding out this b point you can solve these two equations that is 2x plus y equals to 6 and x plus 2y equal to 3 so here if i multiply second equation with 2 and subtract 2x and 2x will be gone y minus 4y that will be minus 3y equals to 0 so y is coming equal to 0 and if y is 0 you can simply see x will be equals to 0 now you have all the three vertices of triangle so can we find length of these all sides a b b c and c a and if we have length of all these sides we can identify which type of triangle is forming so just apply distance formula over here so this ac will be equals to 2 minus 1 square plus 2 minus 1 square so if you simplify that will come ac equals to root 2 
dc will be 3 minus 1 that is 2 square 4 plus 0 minus 1 that is 1 right so 4 plus 1 that will become equals to root 5 and ab is coming equals to 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 whole square 1 and 2 minus 0 so that will be 4 so 1 plus 4 it is coming equal to 5 so you can clearly see two sides are coming equal and if in a triangle two sides are equal then the triangle is called as isosceles triangle right so here the correct answer will be option number right so very simple two questions on straight lines